Idaho is home to some great gardeners who excel at growing beautiful flowers and tasty vegetables in their home landscapes, backyard, gardens, and even in some small containers on their porches and patios. So in today's You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie spotlights a few of them with a quick look at some of their garden successes. Many of them are veteran gardeners, but there are also a lot of rookies as well. So it just goes to show that no matter what plant or what you plant, you can grow it. It's National Garden Week, and after enduring a long winter and a cold start to spring, it's great to see all of the beautiful pictures that so many of our fellow Idaho gardeners have been posting on the You Can Grow It Facebook group. Here are just a few of those pretty garden pictures for you to enjoy. First, some early spring veggies. Sunny Holland harvested some plump scarlet globe radishes, including one that's almost the size of her hand. And Carolyn Carter picked a counter full of these pretty plum purple radishes. Peas are an early spring veggie, and Joe Prince shows us some of his crunchy Lincoln shelling peas. Not only are the peas a real treat, but so are the sweet-smelling blossoms that cover the vines. Now to some flowers. Bob Kempton shares these pictures of his very unusual and exotic Dracunculus vulgaris, also known as a voodoo lily, dragon lily, or Dracula plant. The plant is native to Greece, but it thrives in many parts of the U.S. However, it puts out a somewhat unpleasant smell similar to rotting meat, which attracts flies as pollinators. As Bob said, it has a little odor. Probably not something you want to grow in the house, but it certainly is an interesting plant. Peonies were spectacular this spring, although they bloomed a little later than usual. Pamela Priest grew these white peonies with yellow centers. And Brig Coat picked a beautiful bouquet of these pure white double peonies. Who can resist the beauty and allure of irises, some of the showiest flowers in the garden, especially this pink and purple bearded stunner grown by June Johnson, as well as her eye-catching pink guardian angel iris. Samira Hasek showed us this brilliant white frilly iris with purple edging. And I couldn't resist showing off my own beautiful Presby's Crown Jewel bearded iris blooming for the first time this spring. Clematis is never disappointing, like these pink and lavender beauties outside Stacy Tolley's front window. Poppies are a spring favorite, showing up in late May and early June. Dennis Klein grew this poppy with a unique and unusual color. It's called Amazing Gray. And if you're into climbing vines, you can't beat this Major Wheeler Red Honeysuckle. It's a great pollinator attractor to Zaheen Tariq's garden. Another gorgeous climber is Wisteria. Molly Mitchell shows us her Amethyst Falls Wisteria, one of the few wisteria varieties that grow well here in southern Idaho. Gardening is more than just the plants. It's also about creating beauty, balance, and interest. Donna Bruning shows a few pictures of what she's done, like this planter full of different petunias and other blooming plants, or this stunning red, white, and blue container garden just in time for the upcoming 4th of July holiday. Unusual containers lend appeal and interest to the garden. Here, Donna filled a bathtub to overflowing with an assortment of blooming flowers and cascading greenery, along with a nearby barrel and wheelbarrow full of blooming flowers. Finally, a simple old wash tub is a standout container next to an old hand pump, creating a nostalgic scene. Thanks, Donna, for sharing your eye for creative beauty. Gardens also attract birds and essential pollinators like honeybees and this western tiger swallowtail butterfly captured by Margie Barnett. And then there are the roses, the queens of the flower garden. Dina Bay shows us this trio of beauties and says, I have no idea what its real name is, but we call it Mrs. Smalley, named after the lady who used to live in the farmhouse they moved into. I think that's a fitting name and a nice tribute. Shannon Ray shared this dainty pink-edged white rose, as well as this delicate yellow and pink blushed tea rose. Finally, Mary Bukowski of Meridian found this pretty blossom on her Blue Girl hybrid tea rose. Mary also has a very small apartment patio, but she's managed to create a spectacular garden full of a wide variety of green foliage and flowers, including a small vegetable container garden full of lettuce, peppers, tomatoes, and squash. It just goes to show you what you can do with a small space. That was just a few of the hundreds of pictures posted by Idaho gardeners on the You Can Grow It Facebook group. I hope it inspired you with your gardening efforts, and I look forward to seeing more of your garden pictures throughout the season. So many talented gardeners. And if you aren't already one of the nearly 18,000 members of the You Can Grow It Facebook group, well, it's easy to join. Just text the word GROW to 208-321-5614 and we'll send you the link to join Idaho's biggest garden club. We'll be right back.